Hello Leo and welcome to your readings at the round table. I am Jennifer and um, my co-hosts tonight have left hair all over me. It's great. Um, my co-hosts are Patches, Badger, Mouse, and the lovely Jasmine. All of whom are sleeping. All right, Leo, we're doing something just a little bit different today. We are doing a reading for your, uh, from your highest self. So from your higher self, we're going to pull a card from the Moonology and see what message your higher self has for you. Then we're going to interpret with the tarot and, of course, give you some advice. It's great. It's great. I'm so excited about this, Leo. Um, this is a reading for October 3rd through the 9th, and this is a general reading, Leo, so if it resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, that's okay, too. Just make sure you watch your sun, moon, and rising so that you can get a full picture with all the pieces of the puzzle put together. All right, Leo, let's see what we got for you. And then just do a couple more quick little shuffles. Okay. All right, Leo. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. All right, now, I'm also doing something else I normally don't do, and that is read from the book. Most, okay, really, almost all of my readings are uh, intuitive. So this is... Um, this is a different one for me. But I wanted to get the actual message from your higher self to you. Okay. New Moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. This card speaks of drama and romance. Of soulmates and poetry. It suggests that there's a new start coming your way that's connected to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhere between having your head in the clouds and being totally being in a totally altered state. There could be confusion and disappointment if that's what you've had before and that's what you're expecting. However, if you're on to a good thing, then wish hard because the words of your soul and your heart could bring about the manifestation of your dreams. If all that sounds a little wet and watery, then, <laughs> then that's Pisces for you. Yeah. Um, this is the last sign of the Zodiac, and the New Moon in Pisces card can suggest a last-ditch last chance to make your dreams come true. I like that. So, here's a chance. Roll the dice. I like this. Confu it, you could be ha you could have confusion and disappointment if that's what you've had before and that's what you're expecting. But if if you're onto a good thing, then wish hard because the words of your soul and the words of your heart could bring about the manifestation of your dreams. So get your head in the game here, Pisces. Oh my gosh, I just said Pisces because I'm looking at it. Leo. Get your head in the game here, Leo, because you can bring it in. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we're starting out with. Leo! These cards are just a little bit hard to manage. Well, let's just see what this is. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Temperance, Queen of Swords, and the Magician. Alright, we're going to do this a little bit backwards. That's alright. Wow, okay. Alright, Leo, so Page of Cups. Alright, all pages are some sort of messengers of some kind, right? So, 
um, when we get to Page of Cups, this is usually a message about, Oh, this is a message about emotions. Yes, it is a message about emotions, but it's also a message about, um, like bringing in your dreams, bringing in, because look at this. Do you see, that's a flying pig. So if you've ever heard the term, when pigs fly, this is when pigs fly. And he's making it happen. He's bringing it in and making it happen. This is certainly about love here. This is certainly about love here, um, Leo. And I, I do feel like bringing in some of that watery energy for you is, is different, but it's really, really great. This is definitely bringing something in and manifesting emotionally. This is the opposite end of the spectrum. This is learning. This is studying. This is the opposite of it. But it's working out together. So you do need to work with the two of them. Where you need to manifest and put your energy in this way. I had this reading for somebody else today. Um, manifest, put your reading in. I mean, put your, like, your dreams into play by manifesting. But also by doing something like learning. Studying. Doing something practical. The temperance card, um, the temperance card is a, a card of moderation. It's a card of doing, um, like working sort of incrementally, um, moving one step at a time. And it is with, it, it is with moderation. And again, here's the queen of swords. She is a very thoughtful energy. She is a thoughtful woman. Um, now, I'm not saying you're a woman. You could be a woman, man, or goat. It doesn't matter here. I'm not assigning role uh, gender roles to who I'm reading for. But this particular card is a queen. And she is very thoughtful. She's very methodical about what she does. She thinks before she acts. Um, she's definitely a woman that's like pulled back a little bit away and and just like making her decisions based on based on what she's seeing based on what's going on around her the magician is wonderful because this could this could be you just bringing in everything you want and creating your own reality and that is very very possible at this time because leo if ever there was a time for you to create your own reality it's now Hmm. Okay, so by the time you get this, um, by the time you hear this, um, this reading, um, Mercury will be direct. Well, okay, by the time this reading is coming in, because this reading is for October 3rd through the 9th, Mercury will be direct, and Pluto also goes direct during this week. So we do have some things that are shifting out and changing up. And it is giving you the opportunity of creating your own reality. Meditate and contemplate. Especially when this comes to love. Okay. You can't make this up. Okay. So the Two of Pentacles is not just about financial. It... it it can be, but I think in your context, I don't necessarily think that it's finances that you're keeping in balance. I think this is, again, your emotions and your practical side. I think that you don't need to let your practical side completely rule you. Because if you have been hurt before, if you have been, you know, had some unlucky in love moments or... If there's something going on and there's a change up getting thrown at you in your relationship, in your, I, I think this has to do with you and another person, but I don't necessarily know if it's a relationship in the romantic sense, but I do feel like there is an emotional connection between you and somebody else that is probably 
shifting. And you're going to find out which way you're going to go. And you've been, you've been in situations with this person or someone like them that it, it's never worked out. And now it's, it, there's something shifting in the energy. It's different this time. It is different this time. It's different with this person. Whether this is a romantic partnership or a business partnership of some kind, friendship, uh, family, whatever. But it's different this time. It is different. That's why pigs can fly. Because you're like, this is never going to happen again. And it's happening. But it is different because you're handling it differently. You're moving very cautiously. You're moving very, very methodically because you want a certain outcome. You want a certain ending with this. And you're going to get it. You're going to get it because you are keeping the dreamy um, manifesting side in line with the practical side. You're going to get it because here's the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is a new emotional beginning. Um, whether it's in marriage, friendship, um, any kind of significant other, but this could be a parent-child relationship, this could be a family relationship, this could be a business partner relationship. The other thing is, this is moving fast. This card, I really like this, because this dude um, headed out to, like, running up to a motorcycle with the, uh, the crow flying overhead. He, um... It just looks like he's he's just he figured something out and he's like okay I know where I know where to go now and now he's like I have a place to go so he's running to his bike he's not carrying anything with him except what he had on his back which it looks like his bow and arrow he didn't have anything else with him so if he's been shooting something down he's not carrying it with him he's just ready to move on he's ready to just like okay I've got it this is where I'm going Hmm. And this is moving fast. This is picking up speed. Knight of Swords. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I already drew all of these cards. All right, let's switch up. <laughs> um, wow, this is great, Leo. A young, like fast moving energy, young, fast moving energy, creating your own reality. Yeah. Wow. You really can make this happen, Leo. Five of Feathers, Justice. And the hermit. Okay, so the five of feathers is um, strategy and resilience. That looks like an armadillo. Strategy and resilience. Okay. And then um, this is the justice card, the 11 justice card. It's, it's seeking balance. Um, it's seeking balance. This could be a. This could be karma. This could be some kind of karma coming back. I don't think it's coming back for you. But I think it's coming back. I think there's something coming back around to help you. Because here we have the koala. The hermit. And this is contemplation and wisdom. Oh my gosh. It's just like up here. Meditate and contemplate. Contemplation and wisdom. So you are thinking about it. You are thinking this over. I just think, I think you're much more resilient than people expect, Leo. Hmm. Okay. All right, Leo. The eight of the eight of crystals, 
the buffalo is uh, dedication and progress. I'm going to have to just go ahead and put my glasses on. Uh, this is dedication and progress. Ten of feathers, recovery and transformation. And it's a snake. Um, page of shells is a frog and it's intuition and inspiration. Oh, okay. A whale. I think this is sperm whale is the world. Um, and this is fulfillment and celebration. And the last one is the panda. He, uh, Ace of crystals. And the Ace of crystals is manifestation and prosperity. Oh my gosh. This is so great. Okay. So let's, let's dig in here. So really what you've got is you... In order to have like what you're wanting, in order for you to have that relationship that's so fulfilling, whether again this is business or romance or family, friends, whatever, in order to have that um, fulfilling relationship, you are going to have to put in some work. And I, and I know that sounds crazy, but a lot of people don't realize that you have, like, any relationship, any relationship, whether it's friendship or, you know, spouse, parent and child, you have to put in the dedication to it. You have to say, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And watch the progress come in. There's something that you're getting ready to change about yourself. And I feel like you've been hesitating. I feel like you've been hesitating to make this change. And you've been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And now it's time to pull the trigger. Yeah, now it's really time to pull the trigger. Now it's like it's time for you to use your intuition. It's time for you to look around and say, okay. Where do I need to go from here? This is definitely what you you absolutely can manifest yourself into prosperity, Leo. You absolutely can. But I tell people all the time, manifesting is a big deal. And you can manifest a bucket of gold or a bucket of shit. It's up to you. I get the impression, though, that yours is more on the line of gold. <laughs> I mean, just knowing who you are, Leo, I mean, Leos are, you know, y'all are pretty badass. The dragonfly, Leo. Okay, the dragonfly. And, oop, the Holy Spirit. Expect miracles. Wow. Okay, last advice card. And this is coming from the essential oil cards. That everybody seems to really like. Let's look at the advice from the animal world, which is the dragonfly illusion. That's a lot of Pisces energy right there. Dragonfly's wings reflect and shift light and color to allow you to see through the veil of illusion and see where magic reigns. Uh-huh. Tied to water and air, it reminds us that change can be emotional and mental. Uh-huh, yeah, I would say. It reminds us that change can be emotional and mental. Um, 
seek change. Look at what is in front of you and behind you to gain clear perspective. Look at what is in front of you and behind you to gain clear perspective. Hmm. Okay. Um, this is from the... Uh, I forgot the name of the deck. Uh, this is an Ascended Master, though, right? I mean, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Uh-huh. And Cypress. The emotional aspects of this oil, it releases stubbornness, emotional stuck, or emotionally stuck, controlling. It instills adaptability, ease, and flexibility. It creates a way of releasing the burden of perfection or control and moving towards, oh, moving forward with ease and grace. The centering thought here, I create freedom and flexibility in my life and open my heart to all possibilities. My life is abundant. The affirmation, and I want to make sure I point that out. It does say affirmation um, because they want you to form this. Affirmation, why is it so easy for me to let go and relax? Mm. The chakra is the root and the heart. Well, Leo, I would definitely say that you've got some things to meditate and contemplate. <laughs> um, I mean, look how many things have said meditation. Look how many of your cards have been about relaxing. This is a way you can create your own reality. Really, you can bring in exactly what you want. I, this is exciting, Leo. I'm very excited for you. It's going to be a fun week. I know. Mercury's direct. Pluto's going direct this week. Woohoo! <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me, Leo. I certainly hope that you, um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you resonate with this. Um, again, this is for October 3rd through the 9th. And... Put yourself in, meditate, bring in what you want. All right, Leo, you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. And until I see you again, get out there and make your magic. <laughs> Bye.